Hey, you look familiar. You know Jeremy, right? <laughs> oh, I mean, obviously. This is his big Super Bowl party, after all. I figured you would know him. Oh, me? He invited me a couple weeks ago, but I had to work tonight and my boss was, or uh, is, always up my ass about work. Huh? Why did I hesitate? <laughs> uh, well, uh, it's a little embarrassing, but uh, I kind of, sort of, don't really have a job anymore, it seems. It's complicated. Eh, what are you gonna do? I do have something better, though. I have the night off on the weekend for once. I have some of my best friends around me, and for the past minute or so, I've had you for company. What do you mean you don't count? Of course you do. Oh, I don't know. Sometimes the quiet girl in the corner looking down at her half-drank bottle of beer is the most interesting part of the party. I'm not kidding. Here, you don't look like you're enjoying that cheap gas station beer anyway. Just toss it. Let me make you something better. Oh, trust me, you're gonna like it. Check this out. Let me see. As I recall, Jeremy had this big phase where he got really pretentious about cocktails. He has everything that I need for... This! A Japanese slipper. It needs Midori. The stuff isn't popular yet, but I guarantee you in 10 years it will be. And no, I can't see the future, but I'd say I can predict it. Okay, I'll predict your future. I predict that in one minute you will take a sip of my famous Japanese slipper cocktail and you'll love it. One part Midori, one part Contro, the juice from half a lemon, and... Shake it up with ice. And, for my favorite touch, I put a little bit of grenadine on the bottom. And I pour the cocktail in really slowly. Just gently enough not to let them mix together so you can get that red on the bottom and the green on the top. Wait, wait, wait! Don't be so impatient. I need to put the cherry on top. There. Now it's perfect. Have a sip. See? I knew you would love it. <gasps> Wait, is that hella good by No Doubt playing? Oh my god, I love this song. I haven't heard it in forever. What? Uh, this song just came out? Um, so? I mean, maybe I haven't heard it since it very first came out. That can be a long time too, right? It's all relative. I'm not weird. I just have a varied taste in music. I lose track of all the songs I've listened to. <laughs> hey, what if I secretly have early access to songs before the studios release them? You ever thought of that? You never know. Okay, I'd love to show you my taste in music sometime. I don't want to pay for it though. Is, uh, is Napster still a thing? Or is it LimeWire now? I can't really remember. It's because, uh, never mind. It's complicated. Say, uh, I don't think we actually formally introduced ourselves. What's your name? Okay. Pleased to meet you. My name is Benji! <laughs> Come here, you! <laughs> I was gonna say my name is Benjamin, but, uh, my friends call me Benji. And I am Tavy. No, not Davy. Tavy. It's short for Octavian. His parents are really into ancient Roman stuff. Plus, I'm the youngest of eight kids. <laughs> yeah, and your parents love you the eighth most. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you doing here, man? I thought you were supposed to be at work. Uh, I got someone to cover my shift. Wait, weren't you supposed to cover my shift? Who's covering you if you're covering me? I created a clone of myself in a lab. He's in there on my behalf. <laughs> Bullshit! I'm a man of mystery, Tavy. Let me keep it that way. So, who's your friend? You look like you go way back. No, uh, we actually just met tonight. Really? Because I got way different vibes. I think we're getting along. <laughs> I think that's a good sign, though. Hey, 
If you really want to get to know her, you should try sneaking upstairs. Jeremy's skylight opens up and a ladder will drop down if you can find their secret handle. There's one in the upstairs hallway that'll take you to a secret spot with a great view. You know, the kind of view that chicks really dig. <laughs> Dude, not in front of her. She can hear you. Oh shoot, <laughs> sorry. But for real, you should check it out. I'll see you around, man. I just came here to grab another beer. See ya, Tavy. <laughs> well, um, do you want to check it out? I mean, Jeremy's legendary operable skylight. You know, you're basically the only person I've been talking to all night anyway. I think I'd rather go somewhere less crowded, too. Hold on. I think that's the one. Up there. There it is! Come on, follow me. Oh, wow. Tavy wasn't kidding about the view. It's beautiful. So, uh, you're graduating this year, right? What are your plans after you get your degree? Huh, interesting. Me? Oh, I actually graduated last year, but I don't really know what I'm doing with my life yet. I thought I had it all figured out, but a big monkey wrench got thrown into all my plans, and now I really have no idea what I'm doing with my life. What happened? Uh, it's kind of weird. No, not like normal weird. I mean, weird weird. It's... Oh God, I can't even explain it. Uh... Hey, sorry if it sounds like I'm changing the subject, but... Has a guy ever told you a crazy lie about his life to make himself look cooler? You know, because he thought it would make you like him? Yeah, and the second you hear him say it, you lose interest, right? Because it's so ridiculous that you feel like he's insulting your intelligence by expecting you to believe something so obviously fake, right? Well, uh... You have to get that this isn't one of those situations. And honestly, I don't know how to tell someone this other than being as straightforward as possible. Promise me you'll keep this a secret? <sighs> okay. I'm from the future. From the year 2023. Yeah, I told you you wouldn't believe me. That's not even the craziest part. Um, uh, I'm actually... <sighs> Don't think that this is weird, please. But, um... Oh, God. I'm kind of your husband. Well, no, not kind of your husband. I'm really your husband. I mean, in the future, I'm your husband. I don't know how it happened, but I just kind of woke up in the year 2002 in my old body. I know, time travel is crazy, but a guy like me ending up with a supermodel like you? Even crazier. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll stop joking. Well, b because it's not a joke. And just know that I'm not telling you some sort of crazy story to try and get you to like me. Because I already know that you fall for me, and I know exactly how it happens. <laughs> Do you really want to hear it? Okay, I'm sure you're just humoring me, but I'll tell you anyway. Basically, in a future, like, really near future, only a couple weeks from now, you decide to go to Blockbuster to rent a DVD. It was my big fat Greek wedding. We had one copy left, but it was in one of those janky black cases with no cover sleeve and the name written on it in Sharpie, you know those? Yeah, well, I finally found that one copy, but I was restocking another shelf, and I had my arms full, and when I bent over to grab it, I spilled the DVDs everywhere. <laughs> and, uh, I said something corny, like, Okay, you get to watch me clean up this feature-length mess now, and honestly, looking back, it wasn't that funny, but you thought it was hilarious, and you couldn't stop laughing. It was one of those conversations where you've already laughed so many times that somehow every little thing becomes funny. 
I told you I'd find it eventually, and if not, I'd let you borrow my personal copy. Well, we ended up talking for like half an hour, and we never actually found the DVD, and you ended up watching something else. The next week, you came back to the store, and you remembered me, and you actually took me up on my offer. Uh, we took some popcorn from the store that maybe I intentionally forgot to pay for, and we watched My Big Fat Greek Wedding on my personal copy. You loved it, by the way. I never saw anybody laugh that hard in my life. Actually, it was more like you watched My Big Fat Greek Wedding. I was a little distracted. I was having a lot more fun watching you and seeing the way that your eyes lit up every time you laughed. I started to realize that you were so, so much more beautiful than I knew when I first met you. <laughs> I know that look in your eyes. You don't believe me, do you? <laughs> That's fine. It's okay if you're listening to my wacky story just to play along. I don't think I would believe this either. How about this? If I can predict the Super Bowl results perfectly, then you give me your number. No, not for a date. I'm not trying to cheat on future you with 2002 you. Does that count as cheating? Probably not, but I'm not gonna risk it. I just wanted to stay in touch. You're the only person that I've told my secret to and it would be nice to have somebody around while I try and figure out a way back to my time. Oh, my prediction? The Patriots win when nobody thought they would. 20 to 17. Adam Vinatieri won the game last minute by scoring a 28-yard field goal. I'm not even that into football, but I remember that play. We were watching it on TV while I was at work, and the whole store exploded into cheers when the Pats scored the win. All right, in that case, we should go down now. The game is about to finish. Just you watch. Okay, we're winning. I have 50 bucks riding on the Rams. We just need to hold out for another minute and we have the win. Uh, I don't know about that bet, Tavy. Didn't you tell me to bet on the Rams last week? Yeah, I don't have a good feeling about the Rams anymore. What do you mean? They're about to... Here comes one of greater importance if he makes it. And it's right down the pipe. <laughs> No time on the clock, and the Patriots have won Super Bowl 36. Unbelievable. That's the way you should win a Super Bowl. Never mind. You alone have the hey, Tavy. Looks like you owe me 50 bucks. Hand him over. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh, well. Here you go. Oh, yeah. Benji. Yeah? While you were upstairs, this lady I didn't recognize came in and asked for you. What did she say? Nothing. She just gave me this letter and said you should open it in private. Hey! Where are you going? Somewhere private. Oh. <laughs> of course. All you need to know is this. Drink more Okay. Let's see what this letter says. It says... Benjamin, I know who you are. I know when you came from. Meet me at this address. The fate of our future hangs in the balance. Signed, Lucinda of Cronus 7. It says that I need to find Lucinda from Cronus 7? No, I don't know what that is. That's not a thing in the future, at least not one that I know about. But it seems that they know about me. Hey, since you know about my whole situation, do you want to just meet me there? Yeah, I know, I'm kind of dragging you into this, but I want to get back to my time. I miss you. I mean, I miss the future you. I hate the idea of never going back and seeing you in the future again. Oh, and, uh, one last thing. Can I maybe possibly spend the night at your place? Like, on your couch or something? Yeah, it's, uh, it's complicated. 
So, basically, I haven't checked to see if the past version of me actually exists in this timeline, because I'm scared that if I meet him, it'll cause some sort of time paradox or something. It's even weirder because I'm in my past body from 2002, so I would be like a clone of him. Or a clone of me. Yeah, so I can't exactly go back and sleep in my own apartment, even though I kinda sorta already went there. Okay, so I might have taken my secret spare key because I remembered where I hid it, and uh, I might have stolen my old emergency credit card. Hey, it's not stealing. That's my credit card. I opened it for emergencies. I think getting shot 21 years backwards in time counts as an emergency. It's more like my past self doing a favor for my future self. But look, the point is, is that I can't go back to my old house because my past self might catch me. So, uh, your couch is just my best bet right now. <sighs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Oh my god, thank you. For real, you have no idea how much this means. It's... It's been really weird for me. What's that? How did I get here? Uh, honestly, it was just a normal day in 2023. I was out for a walk and you were staying home because you were sick. I saw this weird, like, distortion in the air and I thought I should record a video with my phone. Yeah, cell phones are pretty good video cameras in the future. Just trust me. Anyway, I realized that I left my phone at home and I did the stupid thing and touched the distortion with my bare hands and then suddenly, whoosh, I was in the past, in my old body, in my old hometown, totally naked in the middle of the night. Yeah, it didn't take me long to realize where I was, or more precisely, when I was. I rushed to my house and took the basics as fast as I could. Some clothes, a bit of food and water, some emergency cash, and the rest I bought with the credit card that I borrowed. I guess that means I have until my next credit card statement comes in the mail before my past self realizes that he's been robbed. I didn't rob anyone. Who is my victim? I was taking from my own self. He is literally me. That's my stuff! Then why do I think that kissing the current you would count as cheating on the future, you? Because you look like my wife, but I don't love you. I love the woman that you become. Does that make sense? Besides, you haven't even met 2002 me yet. Our relationship doesn't even exist from that point of view, so no. I am going to stay loyal to the future you and try and find a way back to my time. It's complicated, okay? Look, there isn't exactly a playbook for being shot backwards into your own past, so I just want to play it safe and not do anything that I might regret, okay? So I just have a couple of rules. Rule number one is I won't talk to my past self. Rule number two is I will not cheat on my future wife. Other than that, I'm just gonna take it easy. Why am I so easy going about this? <laughs> I don't know, why not? What would I gain by panicking? I might as well take it easy, right? Oh, we're almost there, huh? Oh my God, it's your old place. I don't care if it sucks. This place is nostalgic to me. Hey, I remember the gate code after all these years. What? Why are you giving me that shocked look? I thought you really believed that I was from the future. Would it make me creepy or credible if I told you that I remember your apartment number? Yeah, probably both. And if I remember it right, you lived in apartment 32 on the third floor. Bingo! <laughs> After you.
Yeah, I know. This is probably really weird, and you're probably starting to wonder if you made the right call by letting this stranger who believes that he's from the future into your house. But you have to trust me, okay? Oh my god! I remember this old couch! <laughs> we watched so many stupid, terrible movies from Blockbuster on this couch back in the day. I remember the time that we rented Ginger Dead Man vs. Evil Bong and watched it right here. Oh, okay. For you, it's the future. But for me, it's nostalgic. I miss this couch. <sighs> Okay, I should get to bed soon. I'm gonna go to sleep now. It's been a really, really crazy day for me. You know, a time vortex took me away from my wife, so, you know, I kind of want to rest, all right? <sighs> hmm? You want to know about your future? Okay, I'll tell you a little bit, but only personal stuff. I won't let you predict historical events, or else we might end up disrupting the space-time continuum or something. So, what do you want to know about your future? Besides the part where you marry the goofball from Blockbuster. <laughs> okay, it kind of goes like this. You graduated and had no idea what to do with your major, and I was in the same boat. I got a degree in marine biology, and we live nowhere near the ocean. We spent a year after graduation just kind of messing around. You worked at a restaurant, and I stayed at Blockbuster. Eventually, we both got tired of it, and we realized that we had to either give everything up and move somewhere else, or keep our little lives that were going nowhere. So, I had a bunch of classic Nintendo games and old comics in their original packaging. They weren't worth very much money when I was a kid, but they're worth a lot now on eBay. We sold them all, and we also sold both of our cars, and we put all the money that we had into this big red Plymouth van, and we just drove west until we hit the coast. We got jobs at, I kid you not, an open water fish farm out in the ocean. We started taking a boat out to work every day from then on. It was such a huge change, but it all worked out for us. Yeah, I know, it sounds like a lot, but it'll all happen exactly when it has to. You'll get it when the time comes. <sighs> right now, you just, you know, uh, live your life. You don't have to worry about the future. I love you. I, uh, I mean, wait, <laughs> forget what I said. I don't really even know you yet. I, I will love you. I mean, if things go the way they're supposed to. I'll love the person that you are in the future. It's... It's whatever. Uh, I'm sleepy. Good night! Oh, hey, hi, uh, yeah, I made you breakfast. Because I remember you having this pancake mix right here. I also remember a conversation we had about it. You bought it like forever ago and forgot about it until the day it expired. We actually debated using it and then threw it away. So, I'm creating a better future already. In this timeline, your Bisquick doesn't expire. Pancakes and eggs! If only you had bacon, then it would be perfect. Oh, I made coffee too. You want some? Wait, wait, wait! Don't drink it yet. There. With that whipped cream, it's perfect. 
So, um, are you busy today? Because I wanted to go to the address on that letter that I got last night. If they know that I'm from the future, then maybe they know how to get me back to my time. Well, who else am I supposed to trust? At least as far as time travel stuff goes. Well, because I'm not really sure if you actually believe that I'm from the future, or if you're just playing along because you want to see what happens next. Okay, a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B, fine, fine. You know, I wouldn't expect anybody to believe this whole story anyway, so the fact that I've gotten this far is actually pretty impressive. All right, well, we'll just deal with that when the time comes, and in the meantime, I'm going to enjoy my coffee and my pancakes. Let me know when you're ready. All done? Okay, let's go. So, do you think that the past or, I guess, from your point of view, present version of me is out there. I just think it's weird that I time-traveled, but I'm back in my 22-year-old body. No, I didn't check. I was worried about causing, like, a, a time paradox or something. I might still end up doing that, honestly, at this rate, but I just need to get back to 2023 as soon as possible. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to get away from you. Kind of the opposite, actually. I want to get back to 2023, you. Hey, look. Over there. I think that's the place. Is it this place? Wait. It doesn't make any sense. It says 2309 Magnolia Avenue, but the street numbers jump straight from 2305 to 2311. Unless... I think it's down here. Yeah, it's not an alleyway. This used to be a building when we were kids. The city took it down because it was leaking asbestos or something. Now it's just an empty gap. Yeah, I know that it looks totally hollow from here, but... Maybe we should go in. Who knows? Yeah, I know. It's creepy and empty, but it's the only chance I have. Do you want to come with me or not? Because I'm okay with you staying and waiting in the car. Is that a yes, then? Alright, let's go. It doesn't seem to go anywhere past here. There's just this brick wall at the end. Wait. Touch the wall. Just trust me. That doesn't feel like brick, does it? It almost feels like we can just... push through. Keep walking. Right through the bricks. I think... I think there's something on the other side. Is this place it looks like the inside of a spaceship or something should I press this button huh you got here faster than expected hmm. it looks like he brought someone with him let's hope she isn't a liability Hush. We haven't even made our introductions yet. Hello. I am Lucinda, the leader of Cronus 7. I'm the one that identified you and sent you that letter. Over there is Sydney, my chief engineer. Hello. And over there is Jason, chief of security. Hmm. What is this place? Our base of operations. It uses advanced AI-assisted cloaking technology. So that means you're from the future? Yes, just like you. No, you're like from the future future. 
What year are you from? We traveled here from 2042, and I'm afraid that we are the reason you ended up stuck here. What? We are time travelers, and time travel is a highly unpredictable science. 2002 was not our target, but we ended up here after colliding with a time anomaly in 2023. We've spent the past several weeks trying to figure out what it was, and it turns out that it was you. You just took a while longer to appear. It didn't take long to find you once we did, though. Huh. Well, my name is... Benjamin Rasmussen. Born January 28, 1980. You collided with our time vessel's distortion field in November of 2023 and returned back to 2002, along with us. Friends call me Benji, but alright. Looks like you know more about me than I thought. Trust me, it's important that we gather information on you. Whatever for? Because we traveled back in time to prevent a cataclysm in the future, and you're the key to helping us stop it. I'm sorry, what? I said that we traveled to the past to stop a great threat. You're here by accident, but we need your help to complete our mission. We have no time to waste. Forgive me, but aren't you time travelers? Shouldn't you have all the time in the world? We should, but there is a bit of a problem. The time crystals, the core that makes our time vessel work, were lost when we collided into the time anomaly. And that time anomaly would be me? Correct. Some people or objects carry a resonance that binds them to time crystals. They can complicate time travel. We thought the odds of colliding with a time anomaly would be one in a million, but here we are. We're sorry to drag you into this, but we're going to need your help to get us out of this. Wait, why me? I think I can explain. It's hard for someone of average intelligence to understand, so I'll try my best to water it down for you. Your unique resonance with the time crystal will grant you two crucial advantages. Advantages is an understatement. They're more like necessities. Hush, Jason. I'm the engineer, not you. <sighs> As I was saying, the time crystals have lodged themselves into two temporal distortion zones. Your resonant frequency should allow you to break through the barrier and enter them. Furthermore, it should shield you from any distortion effects it might have. But since we don't belong to this time point, the temporal distortion zone would disrupt us on a molecular level. But in your case- Christ's sake, Sydney, speak to them in fucking English. Oh my god, okay. You know what, fine. Look, we need to recover two special crystals to finish our mission. One is attuned to the past, and the other is attuned to the future. We need them both for our time machine to finish its journey. Put in... Uh, English. The time crystals are in weird space-time bubbles that keeps time travelers out. But you, you are a time anomaly, so you can go in and out of it just fine. The crystal also won't hurt you as much as it would hurt us. So, you want me to get it for you? Then you can finish your time travel mission and save the world. Easier said than done. So what do you expect me to do exactly? I'm sorry, but this is just a lot for me. I'm still getting used to the idea that this is all real and not some kind of fever dream. You have to expect the unexpected. Temporal distortion zones disrupt the entire space-time continuum. Up can mean down, centuries can pass in minutes. Time can move forward and backward at a whim. You'll have to use your wits. Can I get help from anyone? No one knows I'm from the future except... Uh, well, her. I was going to ask, who exactly is your companion? She's my wife. I mean, well, not right now, but in the future she's my wife. Right now we're, uh, we're friends, I guess. So you mean to tell me that she didn't travel backwards and dine with you? Is it okay if the answer to that question is yes? For fuck's sake, now we have a civvy from this time period who knows we're from the future. Do you know how much of a liability that is? Shit, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. I literally had no idea what to do when I landed here, so I just followed my best instincts. Our work requires that we be able to predict the future so that any changes we make to the past can have their intended effect. 
If she knows about the future and the course of history, it will compromise the whole mission. I'm sorry, Lucinda. She doesn't really know anything about the future. The only thing that I told her is that one day I become her husband. That's it. Hmm. Not enough to change historical events. That's good. Benjamin, do me a favor and don't tell her any more about the future. So, can she come? Hmm. I suppose it could help. She just needs to keep quiet about what's going on. All right. The first distortion zone should become visible tomorrow morning. Once it does, we don't know how long it will be accessible, so you need to enter it as quickly as you can. We don't know if our enemies have tracked us down to this point in time or not, so we cannot afford to wait for the next time the distortion zone opens. Uh, who exactly are these enemies anyway? Killers who have technology just as advanced as ours. And that's all you need to know. Right, right. Here, take this. What is this? It's a power cell and a containment field for the time crystals. I see... When you find the crystal, put it in the power cell immediately. That should contain it, as well as transport you out of the distortion zone. Keep it safe. The crystals are fragile, and we can't afford having them break. If it breaks, can't we just use my time anomaly resonance or whatever to find another one? No. The crystals we use to travel here are bound to each one of our energies. They are what brought us to this point in time, and they are what's holding us here. So if one of them breaks, does that mean... Yes. We all die. Breaking one would shred us at a subatomic level and scatter us across space-time. Your resonance might keep you alive for a minute or so longer, but it would kill you too. That would be game over for all of us. No one would be left to save the future. Before you go, take this. It's a special communication device. We think it should hold up in the distortion zone. It will be our only means of assisting you. Got it. Here are the coordinates to the first distortion zone. Now go. Stay in contact during your mission and return here once you're finished. We're counting on you. Don't get killed out there, alright? I mean, I'll try my best. Okay. I guess that means it's time for us to go. I'll keep in touch, okay? Okay, so, um, what the fuck? Yeah, right? What was that place? And there's possibly bad guys from the future just running around here like Terminators or something? God, I'm feeling paranoid just thinking about it. Yeah, I'm paranoid going straight back to your place. We should go somewhere else first just in case someone else is following us. I mean, I doubt it, but might as well, just to be safe. We can drive anywhere, I guess. It doesn't matter. I guess somewhere with a lot of turns, just to make sure that we can shake anyone who might be following us. Stay on the surface streets. I think I know where we can go. See that road up ahead? If you turn right before the next streetlight, there should be a little dirt path that'll take us to a secret place. Looks like nobody's tailing us. That's good. There's a good place to stop. See up there? It's my favorite secret lookout spot. See? Isn't it nice? It looks even better at night, when the city lights up. I mean, it's almost dusk. I don't see why we couldn't wait. We can stay here for a while and wait for the sunset together. Here, this is a nice place to sit. <laughs> you know, I almost regret leaving in such a rush earlier. We could have stopped by 7-Eleven for some cheap taquitos and sodas and had the perfect little low-budget picnic. <laughs> right? How are those cheap roller taquitos from 7-Eleven so good? I swear, without them I would have never graduated college. 
The two taquitos and a coffee special kept me alive through every single exam my entire senior year. Oh, yeah, they still have 7-Eleven in the future. And they still have the roller taquitos. It's a timeless institution and forever my guilty pleasure. What's that? Oh, that's right. I'm not supposed to tell you about the future of history. Though, I don't know if the fate of 7-Eleven counts as historic. I do think that it's safe to tell you about, you know, us, though. Well, what would you like to know? What? I can't tell you how we had our first kiss. Because, what if it, like, messes with the future? I don't want to mess with the future, because I like the future. I like how things turned out with you and I, and I don't want to put that at risk. Okay, fine. I'll tell you a little bit. I guess it can't do too much harm. So, we'd been talking for a while, and every time I had you one-on-one, -on -one, I kept almost getting the chance to kiss you. And the times that I did have the chance, I almost had the courage. I missed so many opportunities to make a move on you that I started to worry that any interest you had in me would just fade away. Until one day, I did have the courage. Um, yeah, you can come closer. It's starting to get a little chilly and you can warm up, uh, if you want to. Anyway, uh, we were together one night, and we were talking about how weird it was that some people would just drive their cars to clear their heads, and we realized that neither of us had ever tried just going for a drive as though it were a walk. So we just got in my car and drove. I drove a piece of junk with no air conditioning, and I used to have to roll down the windows to let the air in. When I was with you, I remember rolling the windows down and feeling that cold air on my skin and looking over at you, looking at you smile while the wind blew over you. <laughs> I almost crashed the car because I couldn't stop staring at you. Well, we kept driving, and eventually we pulled over the car and just stopped somewhere that looked like it had a nice view. We'd driven so far that we barely knew where we were anymore, but it didn't matter. It felt like we'd been taken to the perfect place, almost by fate. Everything was beautiful, and it was just cold enough that all we needed to stay warm was to get close together. Kind of the way we are now. And we just talked. I don't even remember what we talked about. I just remembered that we got closer and closer, until our lips were so close that they were brushing up against each other while we talked. <laughs> I was so shy back then that I didn't believe you would want to kiss me, even though your lips were so close to mine that they were already touching but finally I realized you did, and I just... I just let it happen. Oh God. I didn't plan on this happening, but... I didn't want this to happen because I don't know if this is going to mess things up, but... But I just need you. Can I kiss you again? Good morning. What? You don't really need me to remind you what happened, do I? Well, I took you to a lookout point, uh, partly because I was afraid of being tailed, and partly because I wanted to show you a nice view, and then we kissed. <laughs> and we came home, and this time I didn't sleep on the couch. <laughs> Here. Let me show you, it was real. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, do you have that shirt that your ex-boyfriend left here back in, like, 2001? <laughs> what do you mean, how do I remember it? Because it fits me perfectly. Ah, there it is. Hey, your ex had a way better fashion sense than I do. Not that I'm insecure about that or anything. I think I have a better, um, everything else. <laughs> Speaking of boyfriends, uh, what are we exactly? <laughs> you don't have to answer right away. I'm not in a rush for anything. I know that you fall for me in the future anyway. So, are you ready? What do you mean for what? Are you coming with me or not? We need to go to that time anomaly that Cronus 7 told us about, remember? We have to retrieve the time crystal. We should make a plan. I don't think we should drive there in your car. I'm still nervous that we've been tailed and I want to make sure that we only travel in vehicles that we haven't been seen in. I think I know somebody who can give us a ride. Let me borrow your phone real quick. Hey, Tavy. Hello? Benji? Is that you? What number are you calling me from? Did you finally get a cell phone or do you still think they're a passing fad? No, I'm on somebody else's phone. Uh, remember the girl from the Super Bowl party? Oh. Oh, I see. So, uh, what's going on? I need a ride. Her car is busted and mine is at home. Can you take us somewhere? It's not too far out of the way. Uh, yeah. Where are you guys? You know the apartment complex by that Italian pizza place a few blocks from our old high school? Oh yeah. I can be there in a bit. Just let me get some pants on. <laughs> Bye! Alright. Looks like we have a plan then. Oh, the plan? I guess just go in and grab it, right? How hard can it be? I mean, yeah, time travel stuff can be weird, but I think we've been handling it pretty well so far, right? Look, I'm just a regular guy, right? I ended up here by total accident. I'll never be a cool scientist or badass cyborg or whatever else all those other people from the future are. And that's fine. I'm gonna deal with this in my patented I'm just a guy method. So far it's worked for me 100% of the time. Alright, we should finish getting ready. Tavi should be here at any moment. Relax, we've got this. I know those other time travelers made the distortion zone sound really scary, but I'm not going to waste any time being afraid. Fearing the unknown doesn't make you any better at facing it, right? So let's head straight into it, just like it was any other day. Oh, that must be Tavi outside. Hey, hey, get in, guys. We're going for a ride. And the inside of my car is actually clean for once. <laughs> Hey, hey, Tay. How's it going? It's a good day to go to... Uh, where exactly are we going? Right here. Uh, yeah, I know how to get there. You sound apprehensive. I mean, there's nothing at this address. They were supposed to build an ice rink there years ago, but the city zoning board shut it down. Now it's just a huge empty field. What are you going there for? It's part of a game. It's kind of like a scavenger hunt. I'll explain after it's done. Uh, the game is pretty intense. Oh. Huh. Say, do you guys want to listen to the radio? Yeah, sure. Turn on whatever. Thanks for the weather report, Chet. In other news, the pattern of unusual disappearances across the county has continued. Some of the victims never return, while other victims of disappearance return without a word and continue their lives. Police say that when questioned, all of them claim to have never been missing in the first place, regardless of the length of their absence. More on this story as it develops. In the meantime, here's your 30 minutes of commercial free music, only on KGWA. Man, that's creepy. People disappearing and then acting like nothing ever happened? What could even cause that? What, like... Clones of people taking their place or something? Honestly, I don't even want to think about it. Yeah, honestly, that's kind of a ridiculous theory. Oh my god! 
I love this song. Let's sing along. <laughs> no way. I suck at singing. Me too. Combined, we're at least one good singer, right? <laughs> Not a chance, Tavy. Storming through the party like my name was El Nino. I want to bang it out, drinking in the back of an El Camino. Come on, sing along. Uh. I know I'm not the one you thought you knew back in high school. Never Davey. knowing, never showing up when we had to. Attention that we crave. Don't tell us to behave. I'm sick of <laughs> always it. hearing acting rage. I, I don't, don't want to waste my time. time. Become another, another casualty of society. society. I'll never fall in line. Become, Become another, another victim, victim of conformity and back down. down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> See? You weren't so bad. Or are you embarrassed because of the girl in the back? Tavy! <laughs> I knew it! Hey, he's a bad singer, but he's a good guy. Don't judge him for it. <laughs> hey, it looks like we're almost there. Oh, yeah. Want me to park or. Just pull over and drop us off. So, uh, we need a ride back? Yeah, we'll call your cell phone. It'll probably take like an hour tops. You just go hang out nearby, I guess. Sure thing. See you soon. Oh, yeah, here, before I go, do either of you have a cell phone? Give me your number before I go so that I can pick you up. Okay, got it. See ya! Okay, it should be nearby. Man, why did this thing have to show up in such a creepy, abandoned place? Couldn't it show up on, like, a nice, pretty lakeside or something? It's nearby. I can't see it, but I can feel it. Wanna help me look? Maybe, like, a big portal will open up or something. I don't know. What do you see? The air is vibrating. Are you sure? Wait! Don't get too close! What if it... Benjamin, can you hear me? Okay, the communication device of the power cell is working, but that leaves us with another problem. Where is Benjamin? Are you serious? How long have you been in the distortion zone for? Uh, less than a minute. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, look. You getting separated can be a problem even for just a few seconds. Time is warped in the zone. That means that a few minutes in here could be hours out there. Look, just follow my instructions. What do you see around you? Okay. The distortion zone essentially acts as a merging point for a location between different rifts in time. You are technically in our universe and outside of it at the same time. If you're in the point that I think you are, then there should be a high point nearby. Just move steadily and seek high ground. Find Benjamin and the time crystal. Do you see anything unusual? Yeah, that sounds normal. It's usually dark. I mean, after all, the only light source you have is intermittent bursts of photons merging in from different points in time. Rays from the sun can't really reach through the distortion zone. Just stay focused. Do you see anything else? Anything, let's say, uh, weirder? I mean, like an entity. Be careful. There might be more time anomalies. Beings like Benjamin that are, uh, not necessarily human that are trapped in there. Wait, 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 stop. I think I heard something from the comm device. What do you see? Does it look human? Hunched. Four arms with claws, two from its back. Yeah, that sounds like a time anomaly. Possibly an evolved post-human. Hide from it. 
That's what Benji will turn into if we don't find him, so don't mess this up. Stay still until it passes. What? That thing is holding the time crystal. This is going to be harder than I thought. Look, just stay focused. Once you reunite with Benji, you can both take the crystal from it together. Do not take any chances. Don't move. It sees you. Run! It doesn't matter where. Benjamin's resonance will lead him to you as long as you're near the crystal. If that thing is following you, you won't be far from it. Just keep fucking running. Hello? Did you fall down? Can you hear me? I'm here! <laughs> Get away from her! <laughs> what is that thing? It has the crystal? We can't beat it. I nearly broke my hand punching it. <laughs> Duck! I'm gonna rush it. I'll try and hold it down. You take the crystal and put in the power cell. I can't hold on for very long. Take the crystal! Put it in the power cell! Now! <sighs> we made it. <laughs> oh my god, we made it. Who? God, what was that place? Fuck me, I am not looking forward to going into the next one. Okay. We should call Tavy to pick us up. You have your cell phone, right? Oh, uh, wanna take that call first? Who's on the caller ID? Hey, that's Tavy's number. Can I pick it up? Hey, hey, Tavy. We got the scavenger hunt done faster than I thought. Benji? Is this some kind of fucking joke? Huh? Don't kid me. Look, we need to talk. Just stay put. Are you where I dropped you off? Yes. And? I'm on my way. Don't do anything else stupid while you wait for me. Tavy? Tavy? Hello? <sighs> Fuck. I don't know, but something seems really, really off with Tavy. What do you think happened? He just hung up on me and said he was heading over. <sighs> it's okay. We'll deal with it when we get to it. Maybe it had something to do with the distortion zone? I don't know how, but just play it cool when he comes to get us, okay? Hey, look. That's his car over there. Hey, Tavy! What's up? How am I going to do this right now? I'm supposed to be the best friend and shit. Tavy? Follow me. What? What's wrong, man? You sounded mad over the phone, but you won't even tell me what's going on. Look, just follow me. Where are we going? Somewhere out of the way. I don't want to make a big fucking scene where people can see us. 
Uh, okay. This alleyway is fine. Not that many people come to this part of town anyway. Dude, are you gonna tell me what's wrong? How about you tell me what happened? Just where the hell were you? I told you, we were doing that scavenger hunt game. Oh? Well, I hope you won because you were gone for two fucking days! What? What do you mean, what? Are you surprised? Stop playing dumb with me, Benji. Or... Or whoever you are. Look, I can explain. Explain what? Look, you disappeared all day when I dropped you off. Today, I went into work to ask about you, and the manager said that you came in for the closing shift yesterday. I was so confused that I went to your house to see you in person, and you were there just fine. I... I... I don't know, I thought someone was playing a prank on me. Until I found out that this chick you were with was gone too. Don't call her this chick. Her name is... Shut up! I don't want to hear it! Something isn't adding up. There's all these... Disappearances with people turning back up and now... Something isn't adding up. Just what is it that isn't adding up then? You're not Benji! You have to be some kind of... I don't know, Russian spy clone or something trying to impersonate him. And she must be in on it. While I was driving away, I saw her take you somewhere and you just... Vanished. I thought my mind was playing tricks on me, but now I know something seriously fucked up is going on. Tavy, what are you holding in your sweater pocket? What does it look like? Tavy, what, what the hell? You don't even have a gun. How did you get that? Shut up! Now you're gonna tell me how you just disappeared into thin air or... I'll... I swear to God, I'll... You're not going to shoot me, Tavy. You'd never heard a fly. I know that about you. What else do you know? Have you been spying on me? No. Dude, I know who you are because we've been best friends since, since, since the sixth grade. Look, it's weird. I can explain. Oh, God. I'm from the future. I'm not a clone. I am Benji from the future in my past body. That other guy that you talked to, he's also me, but from the present. He just can't know that I'm here. Bullshit. I'm telling you. Look, it's really me. I'm Benji. I don't know how else to prove it to you. Okay, prove it. Tell me something only the real Benji will know, or... Or I'll fucking shoot you! Okay, okay, uh, let me think. You went to Green Valley Ranch High School. Your first car was a white Honda Civic that you crashed after just three months and you... Tell me something that you couldn't learn from running a background check on me! You had a dog named Sparky. Are you fucking kidding me? Anyone digging into my life would know that! Relax, relax, just let me finish. You had a dog named Sparky. In 1997, when we were 17 years old, she died. I remember that day. We got invited to a party at some girl's house, and you had a crush on her. Her name was Jessica or Jennifer or whatever. I don't really remember that part. The part that I do remember is what came after. I'm listening. You called me and told me you didn't want to go. You didn't want to blow it with that girl that you liked, but you were too messed up from Sparky dying. I said, to hell with that party, and I came over because I was the only friend that you weren't afraid to cry around. I came over and I said, hey, let's just have our own little party, you and me. Your mom already expected you to be out late, so we just took a walk together. Yeah. I remember. We went to this liquor store for snacks, and we decided, dumbass teenagers that we were, that we would steal a bottle of whiskey. We checked to make sure that there were no security cameras, and when we got away with it, we started laughing like two lunatics when we realized we were in the clear. We drank straight from the bottle, and since neither of us had ever had alcohol in our lives, it went straight to our heads. We started giggling and laughing and remembering Sparky. Finally, we got to a park and poured one out for her. And then what happened? There was a song we both loved back then. Closing Time by Semisonic. After saying our last goodbye, we started singing it together and we stumbled back home. Do you remember that? I... Closing time. 
Open all the doors and let you out into the world. You don't actually expect me to sing along, do you? Closing time. Turn all of the lights on over every boy and every girl. Benji! Closing time. One last call for alcohol, so finish your whiskey or beer. You know I'm a bad singer. So what? I'm a bad singer, too. Combined, we make at least one good singer, right? Closing time. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. I know who I want to take me home. I know who I want to take me home. I know who I want to take me home. Take me home. Yes. Oh my God. It really is you. I told you. Oh my god, shit. I am so sorry. I don't know what made me think that I should... Don't worry. You're forgiven. But maybe you should hand me that revolver. Um, yeah. Here, I don't even want to look at it. I can't believe what I almost did. So, um, there's two Benjis? Yeah. Let's go home. I'll tell you everything. Wait, you're going to have to explain a little more because I still don't really understand all of this. All I know is that I'm from the future. Not even I really understand how it works. I just know that I need to be careful not to mess things up. What year are you from, anyway? 2023. Really? Then shouldn't you be like 40 years old or something? I'm 43, actually. But I'm 22 at the same time. Uh, time travel is weird. It's even stranger than I could have imagined. So what do you have to do to get back? We need to gather these two crystals. Here, show him. Whoa. What is that thing? That's one of the time crystals. It's what powers the time machine, and it's what's keeping me here. Can I touch it? Nope! They are very fragile, and if they break, I die. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. So, who else knows? Just you and her. Plus, um, these other three time travelers, but they're hiding out right now. There actually might also be some enemy time travelers here too that are after the crystals. Enemies? Like what, Daleks? I don't really know, honestly. But I'm not allowed to know. Too much information about the future can mess up the timeline. I'm honestly taking a big risk by letting you in on this, but I don't really think we have a choice at this point. You know, in that case, maybe you should keep that gun. It's my older brother's, but he's gone in grad school and won't notice it missing until he comes back. Do you know how to use it? Uh, Tavy? Yeah? It looks like you left the safety on when you were holding me up earlier. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know, I don't think I had it in me to pull the trigger anyway. I've never even been in a fight before. I think I would freeze up even if I had to shoot someone in self-defense. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. Anyway... I know that we're in a lot of danger, but just promise me you won't tell anybody, okay? Gotcha. I'll keep this a secret. I guess if I see the other you, I'll just act like you don't exist? Exactly. So, where do you want me to drop you off? There's an empty alleyway nearby. It's where I meet the other time travelers. Two blocks down and to the left. Just drop us off there. I don't want them to see you. I'm sure they'll be pissed off if they find out that somebody else from the present learned about time travel. Gotcha. See you guys later. Call me if you need anything. Okay, Tavy. See ya. Okay, now that makes three of us. <laughs> time heroes. Unlikely saviors of the future. I think I like that. All right, as I recall, the entrance was nearby. Do you want to come in again? Okay, 
and before we go in, there's something important I have to do. <laughs> there. Now I'm ready. Well, well, well. Look who's back in one piece. I was on the comm with them while they were in the distortion zone. I must admit, I'm pretty impressed. Let's not celebrate prematurely. Are you certain that you obtained the time crystal? Yes. This has to be it. Jason, go inspect the power cell. I need to make sure it's the real thing. Ugh, it's always me that has to deal with these things. All right, let's see it. Yeah, yeah, that's a real time crystal. Shut it, please. Christ, I hate looking directly into those things. They always leave my head all fuzzy for a minute after getting near them. Quit whining, Jason. Huh. All right, Sydney. You check the next one, then. <sighs> I think I need to sit down for a minute. Don't worry about Jason. That's a good sign. The crystals have the effect on most time travelers. He'll be fine. What's important is that you succeeded in your mission. I knew we were right to put our trust in you. So you trust us, then, right? In that case, I want you to trust me with more intel. What exactly would you like to know? For starters, what the hell was in that distortion zone? You told us we would just go in and get the crystal. I did not. I told you to be ready for anything. You didn't tell us about the monster. Hmm. You are referring to the entity. That was not among our predictions. Like I said, Time travel is an inexact science, filled with improbable and unpredictable variables. So how am I supposed to deal with these variables? Like I said, by being prepared for anything. The two of you have already proven to be quite proficient in improvising under unpredictable circumstances. Can I at least know something about the enemy? <sighs> they are a secretive but powerful coalition known as Ground Zero. But they have time travel, and are highly invested in not altering the course of history. What is the course of history, then? Can I trust you not to divulge? You can. 42 years from now, a shadowy organization enters the collapse of all global governments by instigating a nuclear war. I knew this because I used to work for them. What? I had been conducting research into space-time transposition for quite some time. Ever since Sydney over there was a student at my university. The past, or rather present, versions of ourselves are actually starting our research in this time period right now. It wasn't until I received funding from Ground Zero that I was able to complete my life's work. The funding they gave me allowed Sydney and I to find the time crystals. They called my time machine the backup plan in case their plans backfired. Well, did they? No. Their plans went perfectly. And Ground Zero was able to take advantage of the weakened state of global institutions to completely take over and create a worldwide system of control. They were ready to dispose of me and Sydney because we were no longer needed. And they had to ensure that no one went back in time to stop them. It was me who told them. I'm a cybernetically enhanced veteran of World War III. I worked for them and didn't even know I was taking orders from the bad guys until it was too late. My job was to kill Lucinda and Sydney after they completed the time machine, but I defected. Now we're here, trying to clean up the mess we all helped make. Ground Zero has all my time machine schematics. If they, at any point in the future, manage to find their own time crystals, they are absolutely certain to come here after us. They have enormous numbers on their side. Their agents could be anyone, anywhere. That's why I advise that you take the utmost caution. I think I'm starting to understand. Here, take this. 
it's the location of the second distortion zone, and the time that we expect it to appear. Got it. Be careful out there. We're counting on you. We will see you soon. Okay. I think that was enough excitement for one day. We saw a monster, my best friend pointed a gun at me, and now I think we deserve a rest. Want to just walk home from here? I think we can make it on foot. Besides, I'd rather not rely on cabs or buses. The fewer people who see us, the better. Who knows if the driver is a spy or something. Okay, maybe that's a little bit too paranoid. But hey, I enjoy taking walks with you anyway. You know, I never thought I would miss this town, or this time in my life. But being here with you is making me remember the little things. Are your hands cold? <laughs> I think I know how I can warm them up. Wanna hold my hand? I miss winters like this too. In the future we move to a place where it never snows. I never liked the cold, but I always did think you looked cute bundled up in a scarf. Speaking of, look, it's starting to snow. What? That's because I am staring at you. <laughs> Can you blame me? You're perfect. Oh, and if you're wondering, you are just as hot in the future, and I can't help staring at you then, too. We're almost there. Can I get the door for you? So, we have a few more days until the next crystal appears. Do you want to just shack up until then? I don't think I should be wandering around in public, all things considered. We could just order pizza or something tonight, and tomorrow... <laughs> I can give being a house husband a try. Okay, I'll order the pizza. Uh, Tony Lozudo's Pizza Company. Hello! I'd like to order two medium pizzas to 487 Greenview Drive, apartment 32. I'll take one anchovy pizza with capers and uh, one pizza for normal people. Yeah, pizza for normal people? Yeah, let's go with pepperoni. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a good normal person pizza. You're paying cash your card, big man. I'll pay cash. Thank you! <sighs> Come here. Lay down with me. We'll see what's on TV. Is Scrubs out yet? That show was so good. Oh, of course you can cuddle with me. You're my future wife. So, are you nervous? Yeah, figures. This is going to be a weird chapter in our lives. Even weirder since neither of us will ever be able to talk about it to anybody except for each other. Do you think you'll remember it all when I go back to 2023? Or will I just go back to my normal life? If not, I'll enjoy sharing the story with you. How do you think all of this works anyway? Because I keep thinking about it and it just makes my head spin. Like, why am I 22 years old again? How are there two me's out there? And if they only had one pair of time crystals, how would Ground Zero follow us? Does that mean the other time crystals still exist in their own future? I have a theory, okay? Hear me out. Time travel is like, full of contradictions and paradoxes no matter what way you think about it. It's just an inherently anti-logical thing. There's just no way that even with all their advanced science they can create something that defies all logic. It's impossible. So what can defy logic like that? I think it's magic. But don't, don't look at me like that. It's not that crazy of a theory. Stranger things have happened to both of us. Just today we saw an indestructible monster with four arms. I'm just thinking, what if the time machine is really advanced science, but the crystals themselves are magical? What if my body, like, isn't even real flesh and blood, and instead it's like some magic thing created by the crystals. 
<laughs> yeah, that was my stomach growling. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, maybe I'm not made out of magic. I still need food and water. I hope that pizza gets here soon. Well, whatever it is, I'm sure it'll all work out. We just need to keep our heads down and wait for the next time, Crystal. Then everything will come together. Everything is going to be fine. Wake up. I've got you some coffee. It's February 11th. You know what that means, right? Right! The second distortion zone is finally appearing. Oh, come on. There's nothing wrong with being excited for a little bit of adventure. <laughs> I know those places are creepy as hell, but I'm just glad that I have a reason to finally get out. I've been hiding from the outside in your apartment all week. I do like spending time with you, but I'm happy to get out for once. So, this time we should go in with a plan. Since we've been in one of those places before, we should actually know what we're doing this time. This time, we won't mess it up. We'll both go in at the exact same time, track down the time crystal, and if we see one of those creatures again, we can take it together. <laughs> I know, I know, I don't exactly have the physique of an action hero, but if we work fast and keep the element of surprise, we should be able to get in and get out in no time. Then everything is in Lucinda's hands and we can finally stop worrying. I'll get to go home and she can worry about saving the world. <laughs> what? You're gonna miss me when I'm gone? <laughs> no, we don't have to miss each other. Once I go back to 2023, I'll go right back to your future self. And if my memory serves me, you're actually meant to meet my present self tomorrow. I'll only be out of your life for one day. Trust me, you're gonna love 2002 me. If it makes you feel any better, I have practically the same personality in both timelines. <laughs> it might be because I hardly matured at all over the last 20 years, but you get it. Are you done with your coffee? All right, perfect. Let's head out. I think we can risk taking your car. If this is my last day in 2002, then I don't think anybody will have the time to sense a pattern and track you down. Okay, so the next one is in kind of a different place. There's way more people around than last time, so we're gonna have to be more cautious. It's in the stacks of a nearby university library. I actually applied there for their physics program, but they didn't accept me. Their standard for physics admissions are crazy high there. My grades in math were too low. <laughs> I'm actually pretty lucky that I got accepted into a science program at all with those math scores, even if my major was just marine biology. No, don't worry. College libraries are usually open to anyone who walks in. I kind of like that. I've been paranoid walking around with no ID or driver's license, so having a place that's just open like that feels refreshing. It's right over there. There should be public parking near the library. Over here. We just need to act like we're students. I look college-aged. This should be easy. It's upstairs. I can sense it. It's a bit crowded in here. It must be close to midterms. We need to make sure that no one is looking when we enter the zone. I don't want to raise any questions, and any one of these people could be spies for Ground Zero. Shit. It's a floor higher, but I think that we're at the top floor. It's got to be on the roof. Can you look for a way to the roof? Okay. There's that maintenance ladder. The roof access hatch looks kind of flimsy. Maybe we can get up there and break through the lock. Hey, where did you get that key ring? I didn't even see a janitor's cart. What? 
When did you get so slick? <laughs> Do you have a secret past as a pickpocket before I met you? Okay, hang on to those. I'll go up the ladder and check if the hatch is locked. You make sure that the coast is clear. Is somebody down there? Hey! Who's up there? Shit. Play it cool. You know, I was wondering where my keys went. Then I heard someone trying to get up the roof access ladder. Don't you see the sign? It says, no roof access. Employees only. Look, come on. I know one of you two must have the keys. Hand them over. Fuck. Come on. I get this must just be some kind of childish prank so I can let this one go. Just hand over the keys. Throw them up here. Now. Hey! Come up. We have to get through now. Come on, come on. One of these must be the right key. There. Through the hatch. That does it. I'm coming up there. Hurry. Don't let him stop you. Hey! Hey! Open the damn hatch. Open it now or I'm sending campus security up there. We'll deal with that later. We have to disappear. Now, before anybody sees us. It's over here. Do you see the distortion? Okay. Are you ready? Hold my hand and we go in together. Three, two, one! Okay, we both made it through at the exact same time now. Let's do our best not to get separated this time. I don't want to be caught alone if another one of those... Th ...things finds me. Here, we can go down this access ladder. It looks like we're still on top of the university library, but it seems... ...different inside of the zone. Like there's only bits and pieces of it left. And none of those other things used to be here, right? Like these buildings and piles of things. I don't recognize them. No, they aren't from the future. At least, not my future. They must be from way, way, way further out than anything I know. Who knows, maybe even thousands of years. What do you think? Yeah, I guess there's no point in trying to understand it. Time travel is confusing enough as is. I can sense the general direction of the crystal. It's going to be a walk, so let's keep low and move quietly. Who knows what's out here? At least these rotting buildings will give us some cover. Wait, do you hear footsteps? I think... Run! Run! That one is way bigger than the last one, and way more aggressive. We can't take it. I don't sense the crystal on this one. We don't have to fight it. We just have to escape. We stop. Help! It's not letting go of me. Why... Why did it let me go? I don't understand, but I think that they want us to follow them. 
What should we do? They're moving in the direction of the crystal. I think... I think we should take the chance and follow them. There were more of them watching us. How many of these things live in the zone? Where do they even come from? There's no way that anything could survive in here. Uh, that big one is getting closer. What should we do? What are they telling each other? I'm sorry. I don't understand you. It looks like he's giving us the crystal freely. But why? <clears throat> um, okay. I'm going to take it. Open the power cell. We need to put the crystal in and close the zone. That was... unexpected. I think I need some time to process that. Huh. It's dusk now. I wonder what day it is. At least we don't have to worry about people on campus seeing us and coming down the ladder. Come on, let's get out of here. So that's it, I guess? Our mission is done? I don't know, it just feels so strange. I've spent the whole time I was here focusing on getting those crystals. Once we bring them back to Cronus 7, that'll be it. I can go home. I know. <laughs> I have the same feeling. Like, I know that I'll go right back to you in the future, but it still feels like I'm saying goodbye, even though I know that's not true. I'm not sure I want to go just yet. Maybe we can do one last thing together before I go back to 2023? There's a little cafe connected to this campus that I used to love going to before it closed down. Let's get something there. Oh, don't look so sad. This isn't goodbye. There's another, much more age-appropriate version of me that you're destined to meet very soon. I won't be gone long. You'll see me again, and you'll be just fine. Better than fine, actually. You'll be madly in love and having the time of your life. <laughs> I can't spoil everything that's going to happen. I'll be ruining all the surprises that my past self has for you. You'll just have to be patient. All good things take time. Hold on. Wait. Stop. Look over there. Is that Lucinda? Oh my god, it is! We should go talk to her about what we saw in the distortion zone. Hey, Lucinda! Over here! Lucinda! It's us! Oh, we just came back from the zone and we have some questions for you. I'm sorry, are you one of my physics students? And please, don't refer to me on a first name basis. It's unprofessional. I'm Dr. Bathory to you. Oh, shoot. Sorry, uh, I guess we shouldn't talk out loud like that. Here, I'm about to begin my evening office hours. It's refreshing to actually have a student come to me with questions and actually take advantage of my office hours for once. Come with me. Oh, shit. I don't think this is the Lucinda from the future. 
I might have made a mistake. Let's just play it cool. Take a seat. Don't feel intimidated. I'm always happy to help cultivate a young mind. <clears throat> um, Professor Lucinda. Dr. Bathory. Um, right, right, Dr. Bathory. Uh, do you think that, uh, if time travel was possible and someone went back to the future after returning to the past, that, uh, that things would be the same? <laughs> Look at this bright little mind. You must have looked into the research I've been conducting. To answer your question plainly, I don't know. We know so little about the nature of time itself that the ramifications of time travel still can't be predicted. Perhaps time travel would rewrite the future, or it could simply diverge in its own direction. With the amount of firm evidence we have now, I think you would get a much more interesting answer from a philosophy professor rather than a physics professor. Right, right. Uh, one more question. Do you think that if someone... Hold that thought. I think another student may be at the door. Hello? Dr. Lucinda Bathory. That is me. Office hours are open. Please remove that silly helmet while you're inside. Prepare to die! What? <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. Benjamin Rasmussen. He must be from Ground Zero. Run! Run. We need to run. Don't worry about blending in anymore. Just keep up. He, or it, or whatever, probably just wants to keep a low profile. I don't think he's gonna try and shoot us out here where there are still witnesses. Fuck. Scratch that. Just duck until we get to the parking structure. We need to get the hell out of here. It's here. Go, go, go! Power cell detected within 15 meters. Start the car. Start the fucking car. Power cell detected within 10 meters. I'll cover while you drive us out of here. Come on! I think I hit him, but the bullets just bounced off of his helmet. They barely phased him. Just drive. He's still following us on a motorcycle. Oh, we need to get back to Corona 7 now. Jason must have weapons that can kill that thing. Give me the power cell. It can communicate with Corona 7, right? Um, one of these buttons has to work. Hello? Hello! I need Jason out here right fucking now! What? What's going on? Ground Zero found us. They're going to kill us! Okay, we'll try and triangulate your signal and get him to you. Stay calm. How long will it take for him to get here? Sydney? Sydney! <sighs> Fuck. We have to handle this on our own. Prepare to die! We can't afford to wait for them to send Jason out here. We're gonna have to beat this guy by ourselves. Okay, let me think. Up ahead, there's a spot where you can make a clear U-turn. Once we get there, I'm going to need you to turn the tires as hard as you can, okay? On the mark of three. Three. Two. One! Turn, turn, turn! Step on the gas! Ram him! <sighs> Is he dead? Surrender! Uh, Bristol! Keep driving. Get us the hell out of here.
Yeah, that guy is still out there. At least it bought us enough time to go somewhere safe. We have to return to Cronus 7. Let's hope that nobody saw us. Do you think Lucinda is gone? Her present self was murdered, so her future self must have disappeared, right? But if Lucinda is dead, then there would be nobody to invent the time machine. No one to collide with me while traveling to the past. If killing her made her disappear, then how am I still here? <sighs> I'm so sick of time travel. I miss my life. My real life. Not the one that I'm stealing from my past self. I just... I just want to get back to Cronus 7. They'll have all the answers. Let's go. It's time to finish this. But I'm not leaving until they give us answers. There are still things about time travel that they aren't telling us. Things about their own nature. My own nature. I'm not going back to 2023 until they tell me. Sorry, Ron High Alert after the call you gave Sydney. She's out looking for you, by the way. I'm glad to see you're alive, even without our help. Lucinda, it's them. We received your distress call. Would you please explain the details of what transpired? Lucinda, you're alive! Oh? Should I be dead? We were at the university. We saw your past... Uh, um, present self, and mistook it for your future self. The thing is, though, that we weren't the only ones that found you. An assassin was tracking you down, I'm sure from Ground Zero, and he was asking for the time crystals. But before he tried to take the crystals, he murdered your present self. He knew your full name and everything. He was targeting you. This isn't surprising. Ground Zero must have been waiting for us to obtain both crystals before attacking. Quickly, give us the time crystals. We need to activate the time machine and complete our mission. What about me? Do I get to return to my time? That is secondary priority. We'll deal with that later. First, we have to complete the mission. Now bring me the power cell. Hmm. Benjamin, the fate of the future is at stake. I'll bring you the power cell. But first, I want answers. Ask me, but don't take too long. Time is running out. Why didn't you react at all to hearing your past self was murdered? No concern? No shock? Not even scientific curiosity? It's because the time crystals are holding us here. Any changes to the timeline won't affect us as long as they remain active. Our past selves dying won't kill our future selves. How do you know? I have answered enough of your questions. Now hand over the crystals. How do you know? Benjamin. Hmm. Jason, stand up. I hate to break it to you, kid, but you're not the one I take orders from. I just wanted to get a closer look at you, because when I first saw you, it looked like your armor had a dent in it. I had a run-in with a Ground Zero agent. I took some hits in the fight. Really? Did they hit you with a car? On 7th and Ranch View? Just what are you implying? You're Ground Zero, aren't you? Cronus 7 is fake. This whole mission to save the future was bullshit, wasn't it? You lied to us. You used us. That cyborg that assassinated present Lucinda. It was Jason in disguise, wasn't it? Hold it. If you shoot Lucinda, I'll blow your wife's head off before your bullet even leaves the muzzle. Put your gun down. I... I'll... Easy there, hero. Think about what you're doing. <laughs> well done. I'm impressed. Maybe you two are smarter than I first thought. So tell us the truth, then. 
You were right about one thing. We did use you. But that wasn't exactly a lie, was it? Quit bullshitting me. You can't manipulate me anymore. Like I said, you weren't wrong about us using you. You are, however, wrong about Krunus 7 being a lie. The real lie was Ground Zero. They were a fabrication. Their global network of control, the nuclear war, all of it was a carefully crafted fiction designed to manipulate you. So what exactly is it that you traveled into the past for? We are named Krunus 7 because this is our seventh expedition into the past. Each time we discover more vulnerabilities in global institutions and learn to exploit them. The future you came from? That was halfway through our sixth expedition. By then we had already mastered the art of infiltration and subversion. There is no way that only three people could do that. Oh, we have other operatives from the future already beginning their work. Killing and replacing their past selves and beginning their infiltration. By 2023, there's not a single government, corporation or organized religion in the world that was not under our influence. By 2045, we have total control. We have a foolproof blueprint for world domination, and each cycle we get better at it. So what exactly is stopping me from just shooting you right now and making this cycle the last one? For one, my colleagues will simply turn back time after the next cycle and nullify your heroic efforts. But more pertinently, because you would be better off on our side. Fuck you. Not the best response to such a generous offer. But consider it. Both you and your wife have proven immensely capable of operating under duress, even inside of distortion zones. Your unique nature as a time anomaly makes you especially useful. There would be no more risk of losing time crystals to anomaly collisions as you could safely retrieve them. With you on our side, we could continue the cycle indefinitely. I think I've made it clear that I don't want any part in this. I'm afraid you only have one choice. Consider that the alternative is that I simply have Jason kill you both and take the power cell by force. I believe we'll be able to persuade you in time, and soon I'll have all the time in the world. There we go. Keep that gun down. She's right. We only have one choice. Jason, you retrieve the power cell. Yes, ma'am. Listen to me. Just trust me. Do what I say. All right, let's see it. Well? Open the power cell. Now! <laughs> this is our only chance to escape. Come with me! Pass me your keys. I'll drive. I have a plan. We just need to get the fuck out of here expi-fucking-diciously. There aren't that many people we can trust or safe places we can go, but I can get us somewhere safe enough to form a long-term plan. Quick. Call Tavy. Get him on the speakerphone. He's the only person that we can trust for certain. Hello, hello. Tavy, this is an emergency. Where are you? Just kidding. This is my voicemail. Leave a message at the beep and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. God damn it, Tavy. What the hell is that voicemail greeting? <sighs> Never mind. This is an emergency. The time travelers that we were helping were the bad guys all along. I don't have time to explain. I'm driving to the back roads now. I need to get the fuck out of this city without being seen. Meet us at the end of the back roads before the last on-ramp to the interstate. It'll be harder to sneak up on us there, and we can form a plan. Just get the fuck to us ASAP. We are knee-deep in shit right now. <sighs> okay. We can't speed too much. The last thing that I want to deal with right now is the police. We just need to stick to our plan. There's the exit to the back roads. That's gonna be our way out of here. These roads are bumpy, so we can't drive too fast, but that's fine. We need time to be able to reunite with Tavy, wherever the hell he is.
This is the highway patrol. Pull over your vehicle. Oh, shit. What do we do? What if that cop is with Cronus 7? Right. They weren't concerned with being stealthy before. He'd probably be trying to kill us if he was. I'll... Fuck it. I'll pull over. Okay, here we go. Whew. Play it cool. Good evening, officer. License and registration, please. Uh, yeah. Was I speeding back there? No. I just noticed your car had a dent in the hood. And your car matches the description of a vehicle that was involved in a hit-and-run with a motorcycle earlier this evening. I just wanted to ask some questions. I don't know anything about a hit-and-run. That's... Fine. You're not under arrest. I just have some questions. We're investigating the case with very little to go on because the victim of the hit and run had no license plate or VIN. And for some unknown reason, the victim fled the scene too. But we can save the details. First, I'm going to need to see your license and registration. I don't have any. At all. What do you think you're doing driving then, kid? Look... Shit. I'm not sure if I should even talk about this at all, but we're running. We're running from a secret organization that is trying to kill us. They have deadly technology from the future. They have secret agents all over the city, and I have the only thing that can stop them. Ma'am, is this man in need of psychiatric services? I am telling you, it's all real. I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. Look, we can show you proof. We just need to get somewhere safe first. Look, you can tell me all your conspiracy theories later. Let's rewind. You told me you were driving without a license, right? That's a misdemeanor, according to state law. Yes! A misdemeanor! Yes, a misdemeanor! That's a crime! You can take me to jail! Arrest me! Arrest me! Take me to jail, right now! <sighs> I've never had someone I pulled over beg me to arrest them, but... If you say so... I know that it sounds completely crazy, but I just need to get somewhere safe. And going to jail is safer than being out here, do you understand? Alright, sir. Step out of the vehicle. Wait. Get out of the way. What? Get out of the way! <laughs> Step out of the vehicle, and put your hands up. Shut the fuck up! Get out of the car. You meddling fucking bitch! Get out of the car or I'll drag you out myself. <laughs> How did I find you? Well, it was easy enough to figure out where you would be, just as I calculated. Now, I just need to drag you somewhere they won't find you. Benji's body will look like an ordinary car crash victim. I'll deal with that dead cop later. <laughs> I wanted to have you killed from the moment I first saw you. Imagine my satisfaction when Lucinda gave me the green light to kill you myself. <laughs> I knew that letting you get involved would just fuck things up! Without you in the picture, Benjamin should have been so much easier to control. But instead, you got him asking fucking questions! Questions that never needed to be asked. Now, I'm stuck in this timeline until the next cycle with all these loose ends to tie up, all because you just had to fucking get involved! No matter. I'm more than happy to shut you up for good. 
you know. <laughs> I'd ask if you had any last words, but I think you've already said enough. Rest in shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny! I was gonna tell you the same thing. Good job. You got me. Go ahead. Finish me off. But I won't be gone. Killing me won't make a bit of difference. After the next cycle, we'll just turn back time to before you killed me, and everything you did will be for nothing. You've said enough. Oh god, are you okay? Wait, where's Benji? Oh, oh no. Benji? Benji? He can't be dead, can he? Benji? Benji, come on, wake up! He can't die, man, we're almost there! We still have to send you home. Come on. I'm sorry I didn't get here sooner. Wake up, Benji, please. <sighs> Benji! You're alive! Come here! Oh, I'm so glad you're not dead. It's good to see you too, big guy. <laughs> oh, I think my ribs might be broken from that crash. But I'm alive. What about my wife? Is she... She's right behind me. Just a little shaken. Oh my god, thank god you're okay. Come here. <sighs> okay, lovebirds. We can't stay out in the open like this. One of those... Uh, time people tried to kill her. I got here just in time. Shit. It was Sydney, wasn't it? She must have been listening to us through the comm device on the power cell the whole time. Give me the power cell. The microphone must be on here somewhere. There it is. Now they can't listen to us. Let's get out of here and form a new plan. Looks like her car is wrecked. Shit. Let's take mine. I'll drive. I have a new plan. It's risky, but we don't have very many options left. Okay, let's hear it. If Sydney failed to kill us, then Jason and Lucinda must be out after us next. Now that they can't use the power cell to track our location anymore, they're gonna be running blind. That should buy us some time. Time for what? Time to infiltrate the time machine while it's unguarded. If we have enough time, we can use the power cell to reactivate it and turn back time to before Cronus 7 turned on us. Are you sure this will work? No, but it's the best chance we have. We have the time crystals. We have the power cell. As dangerous as they are, without that, they lose the advantage. We're almost to the time machine. Pull over here. Okay, Tavy. You stay here. Keep the motor running. There's a chance we might need to make a quick getaway. Got it. I'll keep an eye out. Good luck in there! Let me have the power cell. The last couple of times we were in the time machine I took a look around. I think I know where to put it. Are you ready? This is it. You go through first. I'll give one last look out before I go in. Okay, I'm here. The coast is clear outside. I didn't see any signs of them. It looks like this is our chance. Okay, it's got to be in here somewhere. I remember it. Over here. I think I found it. Behind this glass hatch. It looks like there's a slot the exact size and shape of the power cell. 
There must be some way to open it. Maybe this button will work? Access denied. Please insert access key. Shit. Shit, shit, shit! Access denied. Fuck this. We're going to have to break through the glass. Looking for this? Don't move. That stunt you pulled on us last time won't work again. I'm keeping my distance this time. You know, you've impressed me yet again. If not with your intelligence, with your bold overconfidence. You really thought you could commandeer a time machine. You are, unfortunately, more predictable than you believe you are. How did you know I would come back here? I knew you would want control of the time machine, either because you believed you could use it to stop us, or because you were so desperate to use it to return to your future. I... If you had any hopes of returning to your future, you can forget them now. The time machine only moves backward. The future you came from is already gone. Erased. That future is being rewritten as we speak. The only way back to your time is the long way. And I'm afraid you won't live long enough to get there. Or was I wrong about your plan? You're wrong about everything. Oh, we'll see about that. Now, I'm giving you one last chance to consider my offer from earlier. If you aren't doing this for your own benefit, then at least consider the fate of your wife. I'll let you bring her with you. You can live a thousand human lifespans over with her. If you refuse, there will be no future for either of you. Put the power cell down and roll it across the room. Keep your distance. I... I... I'm going to count down from three. If you don't, I'll shoot your wife first, then I'll shoot you. Got it? Three. Two. Last chance. Fine. Fine. You can have it. Look, I'm putting it down. Now pass it over, and don't make any other moves. There it is. All right, Lucinda, what now? Return the power cell to its position. We will proceed as planned. All right, you two. Back away from the hatch. Yes. Um, yes, sir. Further. All the way to the wall. A deal's a deal, but we still can't trust you not to try anything. Just trust me. You're going to make it through this. We don't have any other options. What are you telling her? You better not be planning anything. No, we're not. Good. Access granted. I run the diagnostics, then we can proceed with our mission. Diagnostic error. No time crystals detected. How? Jason, eject the power cell. It must be damaged or- No. It's not. What? Because I have the time crystals. I removed them when no one was looking. And what do you plan on doing with them? You tell me. Drop them. Now. Yes, sir. Wait! Don't! You have no idea what you're doing. You'll make time travel impossible forever. You'll kill us all. Not all of us. I'm sorry. No! I'm, I'm fading. Lucinda, I, uh, I can't stand. I'm... I'm... I'm disappearing. You fucking cheating bastard. <laughs> gotcha, Benji. I'm... 
could have given you everything. <laughs> Why? I did it for her. <laughs> Hush. Shh. Hush. Don't cry. Everything is going to be okay. Jason got me good in the gut with that shot, huh? It doesn't matter. I'm disappearing too. Remember? Sydney said that my resonance could only keep me alive for a minute or two longer than the rest of them. But that's fine. I know. I know I'm dying. But I won't be gone. I'll still be out there. Somewhere. Somewhere there's a guy who doesn't know you yet. His name is Benji. And he works at a blockbuster on 4th Street. He doesn't know you yet. But he's gonna meet you. And fall in love like he's never been in love before. <sighs> He's going to see you and realize that very second that he'd do anything for you. He'll drive across the country with you, start a new life with you, and never feel regret or fear again because he knows that no matter what, you'll be there with him. You can still have that future. There's still time for you. As for me... <laughs> I already got to live it. I got to fall in love with you twice, which is more than I could have ever asked for. Looks like this whole place is going to disappear too. You should escape while you still have the chance. Goodbye. I love you. I love you. God, what happened in there? Where's Benji? Did he go back to 2023? You mean he's dead? Oh God, Benji, I, I don't know what to say. What now? We don't even know what we're supposed to do. We can't even tell anyone what happened, can we? Are you sure you want to do that? No, you're right. I'll take you there. This is it. Are you sure you're ready? Okay. I trust you. Welcome to Blockbuster! Are there any movies I can help you find? You should check out My Big Fat Greek Wedding. It is so good. Um... Hi? <laughs> oh, uh, it's just that... I don't think we've ever met before, but the way you're looking at me makes me feel like... Uh... Have we met? <laughs> Sorry if I'm acting weird. <clears throat> Hi, my name is Benjamin, but I think Benji sounds better. I'd shake your hand, but I have this huge pile of DVDs I need to stock. Hold on. 
<laughs> oh my god, I did it again! Sorry, this happens to me a lot. Here, we can chat a bit while you watch me clean up this feature-length mess. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I can't help but making terrible jokes like that every time I make a fool of myself. <laughs> so, um... What was your name again? Nice to meet you. You... You look like you have the most incredible story to tell me. Some other beginning